Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Well, not really. I feel like this kind of video has been done so many times already but I honestly just wanted to try it and it is copying a celebrity's Instagram photos so today I thought it would be really fun to copy a couple of Nadine Lustre's Instagram photos so she just has an eye for aesthetics when you scroll through her Instagram you can see that her photos are cohesive but each photo is really really creative it's taken at a unique angle or at a unique place so that's why I picked Nadine and yeah I am really excited for this video, so let's get started. Okay, so for the first photo that I wanted to copy, it's a bit of a So it's this photo right here. So it's just Nadine sitting on the floor and she's wearing this beautiful white sheer dress. And obviously, what makes this photo super unique are the big ass flowers that are beside her. So it's a bit of a photo na to because it involves a DIY. I'm going to have to make those huge ass flowers. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to pull this off, but we'll see. For materials, you will be needing scissors, tape, glue sticks, and a glue gun or any kind of glue that you have. You will also be needing crepe paper. Lots and lots of crepe paper. Like, honestly, a whole ton of crepe paper. Uh, for this project, we actually ended up using 27 rolls of crepe paper. Why this much crepe paper, you ask? Well, let me explain. So, we decided to make just three crepe paper flowers because spending time and money on more than that for just one Instagram photo seemed a little bit too ridiculous even for an annoying Instagram aesthetic hoe like me. So, each crepe paper flower was composed of three big petals and each petal used three crepe paper rolls. So that means that each flower used 9 crepe paper rolls and thus 3 flowers used 27 crepe paper rolls. Like I said, you need a lot of crepe paper for this. But even though we used a lot of crepe paper, it cost us just 270 pesos to make this project. Whether this pick was worth the 270 pesos that I could have used to buy almost 3 orders of Coco Pearl milk tea is something that we shall see. So the first step is to unroll a crepe paper roll, to fold it in half, and to cut the folded edge. This creates two layers of crepe paper. Do this again with another two rolls and stack them up to create six layers. Then, channel your young five-year-old self and start folding parallel to the long side of the crepe paper stack like you would for a paper fan. So, I folded about an inch on one side, flipped it over, folded it again, and so on. Once it looks like this, fold it over itself near the middle and tape down the fold. You want one side to be longer and one side to be shorter. After, unfold the two sides, making sure that the longer side concaves. Then, cut the edges. We cut the edges to make it all uh, jiggity jaggedy, you know, more petal-like. <laughs> then, just peel off each layer of the longer side first, away from each other. As you peel off each layer, just make sure that it still concaves. Then finally, we just unfolded the shorter side over to the longer side, again making sure it concaves. And ta-da! One petal down, two more to go for just one flower. I then made a box from the leftover boards and trauma that I had from college, and this is what I used to hold the three petals together. Here, I'm just assembling the petals into the box, then gluing the petals down. Because the petals were folded to concave, you want to make sure that the petals curve into the flower and that the short sides are in the middle. After that, repeat everything again and spend the next few hours of your life just folding away just for the sake of one Instagram photo. Once 
once you've wasted an entire day and 270 pesos that you probably got from your stashed quarantine cash just kidding, don't do that. You will then have these three huge ass crab paper flowers that look like this. Okay, so we are finally done doing the crepe paper flowers and it took way longer than I expected. It took all afternoon doing the flowers and it would have taken a lot longer if I did it by myself. Luckily, my sister Maxine was here to help me. I honestly half expected to fail at this DIY because I have never made crepe paper flowers at this scale. They are pretty big and that's why we used so much crepe paper but I don't know I think it was worth it I really like how they turned out and I don't know I think we did a pretty good job if I do say so myself so now that we're done with just the DIY part of this photo we can actually move on to the actual photo shoot I think I have a white top that's a little bit similar to the top or the dress that she was wearing my hair is in a bun and I put some hairspray so when I remove the hair tie It'll be a little bit curly and yeah, so let's get dressed up. So it is the next day. It took us the entire day yesterday just taking that one Instagram photo. But anyway, we took the photo and this is how the photo turned out. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly like Nadine's photo. There are a lot of differences. So I'm going to have to edit this photo, make the flowers look a little bit more like hers. But judging from the photo right now, how the angle was taken, how I did my pose, and how it looks in general, I think I can give this photo probably an 8 out of 10. I'm honestly just really proud of how the flowers turned out. It's definitely not perfect. It doesn't look exactly like Nadine's, but I'd say it's not too bad. Okay, so now we can finally move on to the second photo that I'm trying to copy from Nadine. And it is this selfie. So it looks like she's in a hotel room and she's all glammed up with her hair tied back. She's got cool jewelry and parang hawak niya lang yung robe niya. So I'm going to try to copy this. So I already did my makeup. Di ko na siya pinakita sa video na to because I feel like it would make the video too long. But I did film it and it'll be an IGTV on my Instagram. So I will link it down below in case you guys would want to watch that. Now I just have to tie my hair, look for some of my jewelry to put on, and I'm probably just gonna use a towel as my robe because wala akong robe. And yeah, let's try to take this photo. For jewelry, I just used these ones that I got from Shopee. I will link them down below if I can still find them. Although, if your skin is sensitive to cheap ass jewelry, I would not recommend you guys getting them from where I did. But to be honest, you can just use any of the gold or fake gold <laughs> jewelry that you already have. For hair, I just tightly tied all of my hair at the back and then aggressively hairsprayed all my short little hairs. With a comb, I just brushed them back to smoothen them out. Okay, so I'm done taking the second photo and Honestly, this was way more difficult than I thought. 
Dahil selfie siya, akala ko madali lang siyang kopyahin. But there is so much more to this photo that I did not think about. She just looks so relaxed in this photo. But when I was trying to take it, I was in so much pain just trying to hold this pose. So my main struggle with this photo was trying to get the pose right. Na andito sa edge ng photo yung shoulder niya. But her head is almost on the other side of the photo. So parang... Kailangan nandito yung shoulder na malayo, pero yung head kailangan nandito. And then, while you're holding that pose, kailangan makuha mo yung right angle with your phone. I don't know how she took this photo. Okay, wait, update. So, I was really disappointed in the photo. So, I took more photos and I think I figured it out. Because, syempre, when you're taking a photo, mas madali yung paganyan. Na yung shoulder na kaharap ng camera mo is the shoulder that's holding the camera. But I think, think lang ha, na yung kabilang shoulder yung kaharap ng camera. So, I think she was taking it like this. Judging from the photos that I took using this angle, medyo mas kaparehas niya. Also, I took it with my wide-angle lens on my cell phone para mas mahaba yung shoulder ko, allowing me to have my shoulder at the edge of the photo and my head on the other side of the photo. So, this is how it turned out. Now, I think I'll give this photo an 8 out of 10. I forgot to film an outro, but that concludes it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!